Hello boys and girls. I thought I would show you a fun little craft that you can do while you're at home. All you will need is a blank sheet of paper, a pencil, a marker if you would want to use it, or you can use colored pencils or crayons. You'll need some cotton balls and either a glue or a glue stick. And if you'd like, you can always uh, add a wiggly eye, or you can just create an eye or draw an eye using a white crayon. And then you make a cute little lamb using your hand and a couple of creative items. Step one, you should place your hand on the paper, and then you simply trace your hand. To get a handprint. Once you trace your hand, you'll have this handprint. If you want, you can outline it using a black marker so that it might be a little easier to see, or you can just stick with the pencil outline. Once you have your outline, you're either going to use a black marker or a black crayon or a black colored pencil and you're going to call color in what will be the four legs to your lamb this one your four fingers and then your thumb is actually going to become the head so if you don't want to use googly eyes or to make a, an eye using a scrap piece of paper you can go ahead and draw an eye Right here so you know where and if you want you can draw a little red mouth or a pink mouth as well to make your lamb smiling you'll notice that I've only colored in the fingers and my thumb I've left the palm of my hand white because that will form the body of the sheep. You can color it if you'd like, but you don't have to. Now's the time if you would like to use your crayons or your colored pencils to add some maybe some grass or maybe a sun or a fence maybe for your, your lamb to be kept in. It's up to you to imagine whatever field your lamb is running around in. You can see that I've added some green grass and a couple of flowers and a nice bright sun because I like to think that my little lamb is running free in a field somewhere. I can leave his body like this and if I want I could add little curly cues maybe with a light brown. Just look curly cues to make it look like he's got some wool but if you have some type of cotton ball or batting of some kind some fluff and some glue all you have to do is put a little glue on your body take your cotton balls kind of pull them apart a little bit so you can kind of save and glue them to your lamb's body. As you can see, I've got about only four cotton balls that I really need to use. Make sure I kind of fluff it apart a little bit. Make sure those get glued down. And now I've got a little handprint lamb that I can save for the future. If you want, you could add your name, today's date, and your age. And that way, when you're a senior in high school and you're going through your memory book, you can find the lamb that you made when we were all quarantined back in 2020 and you can lay your big senior handprint 
down beside and you can see how much you've grown over the years. So I hope this was something fun, something creative, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.